Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest version of Apache OpenOffice. So let's open up our web browser. We'll go to Google and we'll type in OpenOffice and we'll see um, Apache OpenOffice here. So let's click on that. OpenOffice.org, that's the website URL. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description as well. The current version is 4.16, that's the latest release and Apache OpenOffice celebrating 20 year anniversary. So it's quite interesting to see the software develop over that long period of time. So what we do is um, we want to download, right? So I want to download Apache OpenOffice, so we'll click here. And you need to select the relevant operating system. So you've got Windows, you've got Linux, you've got Mac OS, you've got all the different operating systems here. And we want to install a Windows version, so we're just going to select the Windows EXE. Then you can select the relevant language from here. I'm going to select English British, and I want to download the current version, which is 4.16. Any little bugs and stuff have been fixed in this version, so we'll download this current version. We'll click full download full installation here, and it's going to take us over to SourceForge. We'll accept this, and if we wait four or five seconds, it will start to download. You have to wait for this timer. And then it will start and now you can see the download is starting and it's at uh, it's 128 megs so it's a small file not too large we'll open up this folder on my desktop while it's downloading it's finished downloading so i drag and drop the file into this folder i'll double click let's minimize everything and we'll wait for the installer to launch we can see uh, norton's has scanned it and it's safe to install so then we'll just follow the on-screen instructions here we'll click next We'll click install and then it's going to check the requirements. Everything is good. You can put your email address in here and stuff like that and whatever organization it is. Anyone on this computer can use this software. We'll leave it on that option and then we'll use a complete install. We'll click next, create a start link on the desktop. I don't really do like links and stuff on my desktop, so I don't I normally untick this and we'll click next. It's going to start to install the software. So we we'll wait for this to finish and then we can check out the software quickly. Okay, that's all done. There's very, very fast installation. We'll click finish. It normally creates this desktop, uh, this folder on your desktop, and it's that's basically where it's extracted all of the files. You don't actually need this. You can just drag and drop that into the recycle bin. And normally I'll go into the folder where I saved the original executable and I'll drag and drop that into the recycle bin as well. Because now you've installed the software, you don't really need those. And later when it comes to a new release, you're going to download that latest version and reinstall it anyway. So let's click on the start menu. And in here we should see um, Open Office. Let's find that. Open Office 4.16. And you've got the launcher here so this if you click on this first one here it's almost like a little launcher screen so let's click that and then you get access to text documents so there's like microsoft word you've got spreadsheets like excel you've got presentations like um powerpoint and you've got drawing tools database like access and you've got these formulas you don't really have that in microsoft but you've got like this formula section so let's just click on text document and when you load it up, you can see you've got a text editor here. Now, you can type out your text. You can even save the files as Word documents or save them as Open Office documents. And they're, they're compatible with um, all three types of applications. So you've got Microsoft Word, Excel, and stuff like that. This is the version I'm running here. But then you've also got LibreOffice and all of those tools. And all of these files are sort of cross-compatible as well. So that's basically how you go about installing the latest version, which is version 4.16 of Open. Uh, office onto Windows 10. So go and experiment with the software. You've got loads of different options here. You've got calc uh, spreadsheets. So you can have a look at a spreadsheet here. I'll put some links in the YouTube description to tutorials on how to use all this software. So if you're not familiar with spreadsheets um, or Writer, which is like Microsoft Word or any of those sort of tools, I'll put some links in the YouTube description where you can uh, follow some tutorials on those applications. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.